Nathan Way. And today's uh, episode is excerpted from an article written by Dennis Thompson in Health Day News. Osteoarthritis, uh, a disease caused by wear and tear in the cartilage, used to be considered a condition of old age. And basically what happens is that the cartilage that covers the ends of long bones in a joint wears away and the bones rub together. And this leads to pain, swelling, and loss of range of motion. However, more recently, doctors are seeing osteoarthritis frequently in younger people, particularly in younger people's knees. Uh, the culprit may be a history of prior serious injury uh, to the knee, such as an anterior cruciate ligament or ACL tear. One study found that the impact-related ligament tears inside the knee can lead to cartilage cell damage. Significant injury weakens the cartilage and makes it less durable over time, said the study's lead author, Dr. Constance R. Chu an associate professor of orthopedic surgery at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center and director of its cartilage restoration center. The damage done to the cartilage cells by an impact injury would not be visible on a typical MRI scan, Chu said. She surmised that about half the people who sustain an ACL tear could develop osteoarthritis within five to 10 years. These findings were reported in the December 2009 issue of the American Journal of Sports Medicine. As Dennis Thompson of Health Day states, most early onset osteoarthritis appears to be tied to exercise and sports. People are playing harder at younger ages and potentially doing themselves harm by not protecting their joints. Dr. Chu also suspects uh, that there is a connection between early onset osteoarthritis and the growing obesity epidemic. She states, if someone is overweight or obese, they put more stress on cartilage that's been weakened by injury, and it's chronic overload that's very likely a cause of osteoarthritis. So what's the take home message here? Well, bottom line, Kids should not be pushed too hard in youth sports. They're still growing. And weight makes a difference. So, I guess you could say that both inactive fat kids and overactive youth athletes are both at risk. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Nathan Wang.